Hello everyone. It's good to see you after a long gap. Now let's dis discuss the BP version 6.4, the intelligent automation skill. Primarily in this video, we shall discuss about the new AI skills of Microsoft Text Analytics and Microsoft Vision integrated with Blue Prism. The prerequisite for this activity is Microsoft Azure. You can see here, it's a paid version. Uh, I don't know about the rate, it's around $50 you have to pay exactly in uh, US dollars. I don't know what's the rate in INR. So this uh, you have to subscribe for cognitive services. I have opted for Microsoft cognitive services. And the only thing what you need here is the key and the location where you have subscribed. So if it is Western Europe or Eastern Europe or Central Europe or USA, just get the location of the API and get the key of API. These two are the important inputs which is going to deal with the new AI skills. So now let's jump into Microsoft Text Analytics. So right now we are seeing the Object Studio where uh, the, I have integrated Microsoft Text Analytics with the Blue Prism. So you can see the pane here. The right side of the pane you can see Microsoft Vision skill. A Google computer vision of course so, and uh, coming down you can see Microsoft text analytics Google translation so I will take a separate video for Google translation however primarily as as said I'll discuss about primary Microsoft text analytics and Microsoft vision so in text analytics there are almost four actions so, uh, I think yes four actions one is it can detect the languages, it can recognize the entities, and it can recognize key phrases among the paragraph, and it can recognize the sentiment. So the direct languages is whatever the input is, uh, you can give either any language, it will uh, try to give the uh, lang language identified from the input. So that is one use which is great. And second one is recognize entities. So it will uh, primarily identify the entities from the input task, sorry, input. And uh, coming to recognize key phrases. So if you give an input, a uh, huge paragraph, it will, the this skill will particularly recognize the important phrases in it and it will give it, give it as an output, say for, uh, which can be later, um, uh, used for analytics purposes and uh, sentiment analysis is the polarity like whether this sentence is a positive one or negative one which is used for many other purposes for election results in the Twitter or many other like uh, user feedback in Amazon Flipkart so these these play a major role there so let's discuss one by one so primarily uh, the input of this is a collection so here it comes with a prerequisite called um, prerequisite like uh, the collection column should be text named text here it's like this it should be named text and for other is like uh, for detecting languages it should be text and language so you can't give any other names apart from these two so this is like a prerequisite from blue prism let's run the process so initial value i gave jesus uh, let's for fun it's a french language let's see the output what is it giving and uh, before that uh, sorry this is the api region where i subscribed is west europe and the credentials so this microsoft text analytics in the credentials manager i'll just show you that In credentials manager uh, you have to use uh, token type bearer token and you have to give the key it's an API key you have to give it and you can consume this later let me run let's wait for the output say we got the output let's see the detected language 
see it's french uh, now let's try with uh, some uh, something else like english we can say good morning you got the output see it's english let me try with some other language uh, sorry <laughs> Google Translate. Let me try with Tamil. Okay, it's Kalai Vanakkam. I'll just copy it. and paste it here let's try it again let's see the reliability of microsoft of course i'm kidding <laughs> don't take it seriously it's tamil so it's a very good uh, skill from microsoft uh, which we can consume in blue prism so now let's go to uh, recognize entities entities will generally give the wikipedia link of this so let's try ernst and young it's a very good company uh, we can see how uh, the microsoft entity recognizer reacts to this input and gives the wikipedia link let's try so we got detected entities let's open it's in. so it give it has given a wikipedia url and it also gave a bing id so let's try with wikipedia url just copy and let me paste it here sorry again and again i'm going there <laughs> So it is giving uh, the details of the company through Wikipedia and Bing. So it's a very good tool. Sorry, very good skill. <laughs> so let's come back to here. Here also I give the same input, like uh, the input of the collection and the API region and the key output. You get all this. So what is more important is uh, detected entities. Rest all I'll show you. It's not that important. It's just the details of the cognitive services. It's a request ID, content type. So these are not going to give any useful information. However, the detected entities is important. So next, uh, let's analyze the key phrases. Okay, I am giving Google and Microsoft. Let me extend, extract, uh, expand the sentence. Or very big Jane's. Okay. Let's run. See. Let's see what is the header sorry not this one key phrases it's here it's google microsoft and big jains all these are key phrases so it generally avoids certain words which are not going to make any meaningful uh, meaningful uh, phrase so it's it is extracting only the verb and nouns that's it so uh, next come to uh, Microsoft uh, text analytics in this uh, we can uh, 
recognize the sentiment of any key phrase so uh, here i have given ui is on awesome let's see the polarity of this okay so if i'm i'm giving a positive feedback of the company so if uh, ey is awesome it should be having polarity towards one the ex uh, bend of the polarity curve should be towards one so let's see the polarity it's 0 0.99 which is almost one so it's a positive score now let's give a negative feedback what to go ego is dangerous let's give what is the <laughs> see the score is 0 0.04 which is a negative statement so it is having words like dangerous ego so which has a polarity towards zero so it is 0 0.04 so that's the text analytics which can be very useful for data scientists data analysts the input of the microsoft vision is a image in the binary form so all you need to do is you have to drag and drop a binary uh, you have to drag and drop a data item convert into binary and then call a image so first is analyze and describe an image so here i am using the same api region the same credentials i am calling a binary image let's see what is that so data one I have given a few images. I think it's uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Let's analyze what it is. See, Google has a confidence of 91, sorry, Microsoft has a confidence of 91.42 percentage detecting it as Mahendra Singh Dhoni in a blue uniform. So it's very good. I have analyzed a couple of images more. So it is yielding the proper results. So let's uh, also discuss, uh, detect the celebrities. It has one more feature called detect celebrities. Let's see how it is detecting F10. You can see this. Yeah, maybe this is this the same thing. It has detected it as a people. We can see who's that. Mahendra Singh Dhoni. With the confidence rate of 98.31 percentage. Very good. Now let's uh, detect a landmark. So I have given uh, Burj Khalifa, one of my favorite building in Dubai. Uh, let's see whether it is detecting properly or not it's in the data item 2 it's in a binary format it has detected it let's see it has detected uh, it has given two output one is uh, 71 percentage it is uh, considering it as a building and uh, it has a minimum uh, rating for outdoor but still we can rely on this alone let's see what it is it's burj khalifa it has given with the confidence of 98.887 percentage it's good it's great work uh, finally <laughs> i've been scrolling through the wrong window from the very beginning it is an handwritten image so it's uh, i have written this image uh, apologies for my bad handwriting it's a Vishal RPA developer. So I have called this image uh, in uh, 
for recognizing it so let's see how it is uh, recognizing so here the input is uh, inputs are the same api region uh, microsoft uh, credentials and the image to analyze let's see it is taking some time okay so uh, you will be getting one uh, response it is called operation URI this is that operation URI you can see here this is very important to get to know the handwriting uh, response and add handwriting status to uh, get that uh, operation URL I have done few string operations to get it so let's see I have taken the content from the collection it's there now I am doing one more uh, work to get this uh, operation URI alone so I got the operation URL this is the operation URL so let's check the status it should yield in positive so handwriting response we got it one it is Vishal the RPA developer so I got this sentence but however there are two L so maybe because of my bad handwriting I got the L as two see I have cursed it like Vishal so it's it's my mistake I should give one L but I am I have written it like cursive so I am getting it uh, as two L so it's pretty good and RPA developer it has extracted as same and the status is succeeded as just an uh, indication whether the extracted uh, the text is extracted properly or not so in this case it has extracted properly and it's fine by the way I forgot to show the Burj Khalifa pick which I gave as input just a second it's here this is the Burj Khalifa pick it's a lovely right okay guys uh, it was a great connecting with you after a long time see you next time I'm signing off Vishal bye bye